Basal ganglia anatomy. This is a model of the ventricles. In this view, you can identify the lateral ventricle with its anterior horn, inferior horn, and posterior horn. In the middle, you can see the third ventricle. It is connected to the fourth ventricle by the cerebral aqueduct. This ventricle model will be a point of reference for the conceptual overview of basal ganglia anatomy. Another point of reference is the thalamus. It is located on either side of the third ventricle. The first nucleus of the basal ganglia we will insert is the caudate nucleus. The caudate nucleus is a tadpole-shaped nucleus that swings around the thalamus following the lateral ventricle. Its head is in the floor of the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle. Its body follows the lateral ventricle. The tail is in the roof of the inferior horn. The caudate nucleus is separated from the other basal ganglia nuclei by a fiber bundle. These are nerve fibers traveling to and from the cortex. The most superior portion of this bundle is the corona radiata. It converges to the internal capsule, and then the fibers travel through the cerebral peduncle. The globus pallidus is located lateral to the internal capsule. It can be divided into an internal and external part. The putamen is located lateral to the globus pallidus. The caudate nucleus and the putamen are of common embryologic origin. They are separated by the internal capsule. The most anterior portion of the caudate and the putamen are fused and referred to as the nucleus accumbens or ventral striatum. There are numerous connecting fibers between the putamen and the caudate nucleus. These connecting fibers that pass through the internal capsule give these two nuclei a striped appearance. The caudate nucleus and putamen are also called striatum. 